The false emission rate is calculated by dividing the number of false negatives by the total number of negative tests. To help us understand this equation, we are going to imagine that a group of people are being tested for a disease. This yellow line represents a cutoff level for a test. To the left of the line, the test returns negative, and to the right, it returns positive. Since the false submission rate only takes into consideration people who tested negative, we are going to focus on the squares to the left of the yellow line. When calculating the false submission rate, we only need to use the bottom row of the sample table. This row is used for people who tested negative. In the left box, we have the false negatives, in the middle box, the true negatives, and on the right, the total number of negative tests. Counting the squares, we find that there are 11 false negatives, 99 true negatives, and 110 negative tests in total. Now all that's left to do is enter the data into the equation. In doing so, we find that the false emission rate is 11 over 110, which is 10%. Once more, the false emission rate is calculated by dividing the number of false negatives by the total number of negative tests.